Gracias. Gracias. Thank you so much, Your Excellency Juan Carlos Varela, the President of Panama. And uh, I know when you left Dubai, you were very enthusiastic. And thank you so much for bringing us up to date, for keeping all that energy and enthusiasm over the year, too. We've seen you've been very busy. And of course, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry has been exceptionally busy, too, making sure that they can catch up with you and the two of you running in parallel to create this wonderful event here and to actually make this happen. So I'd like now to ask you to give a very warm welcome to the Chairman of the Dubai Chamber of Industry and Commerce, His Excellency Majid al -Gurair. Your Excellency Juan Carlos Perella Rodriguez, President of the Republic of Panama, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank a leader and a visionary who made us all together come here today. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President, Prime Minister of UAE and ruler of Dubai. A few years back, he set a strategy for Dubai Chambers that we connect with region and a new region. And one of these strategy is to connect with Latin America. And that's why we created JBF Latin America, a platform where businesses from both sides, from the region come together to share the knowledge, to, to do more connectivity, and to sp uh, prosper our two economy together. And on behalf of the Dubai Chamber of Commerce, it's given me a great pleasure to welcome you of your all esteemed guest to our Global Business Forum Latin America, Panama 2019. The third edition of this premier forum that focuses on exploring bilateral business opportunities between the Arabian Gulf and Latin America. I would like to start by extending my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to you, Your Excellency, Juan Carlos Varela Rodriguez, President of Republic of Panama, for inviting Dubai Chamber to host this forum in your beautiful country. I would also like to thank our event partner, the Inter-American Development Bank, for their valuable support, and all of our esteemed speaker and delegates for their effort and contribution toward the program and the trade mission that coincides with this forum. As one of the fastest growing economy in Latin America, Panama is, is increasingly becoming a preferred gateway for countries from around the world that want to access Latin America, much like position that Dubai holds in the Middle East and North Africa region. Hosting the forum in Panama capital city is more than just a, part, a practical steps forward from the first two high successful edition that were held in Dubai. It is a symbol of a deepening relationship between our country. Dubai Chamber takes a unique approach to promoting Dubai as a global business hub and providing its 231,000 member companies with access to growth opportunity and promising market. The Chamber operates 10 representative offices that are strategically located across Africa, Asia, CIS region, and Latin America that promote Dubai as a global and on the global level. We have seen that this approach have worked very well in the term of driving interest in Dubai and attracting foreign business and investor to the Emirates. Just last week, Dubai Chamber marked the opening of its third Latin America office in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The new office, along with our existing offices in Panama City and Sao Paulo, will focus its effort in identifying opportunity in Argentina markets that offer potential to our members. At the same time, it will build our relationship with a key stakeholders in Argentina and assist companies there that are keen to enter the Dubai market. Taking our international strategy one step further, we are excited to announce today that Dubai Chamber will open the fourth Latin America office in Mexico later this year.
One of the reasons why we launched the GBF Latin America series to begin with comes from our strong belief in the co competitiveness and advantage that Dubai can offer businesses in this region. Dubai enjoy a strategic geographic location providing companies with easy access to market across Middle East, Asia, and Africa. While it's offer a world-class infrastructure, 100% foreign ownership, 30 plus free zone and business friendly environment, it is these strengths which have made Dubai and the UAE preferred destination for businesses and investors from around the world. This forum comes at the time when Latin America's ties with the UAE and the Arabian Gulf are expanding rapidly. Just four months after the previous forum was held in Dubai last year, Dubai Chamber opened a representative office in Panama. And earlier this year, Costa Rica opened a trade promotion office in Dubai too. To add to that, we have organized several high-level trade missions to many Latin American countries in recent years, including Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, and Costa Rica. And myself with the team from the chamber also visited Uruguay. And we visit Colombia too. As part of our effort to explore untapped potential and strengthen our relationship with key stakeholders in this part of the world, and it's appeared that our efforts are bearing fruits. Dubai non oil trade with Latin America has surged 46% from $4.6 billion in 2011 to $6.7 billion in 2018. Meanwhile, the number of Latin America company register, companies registered in Dubai Chamber has grown exponentially over the same period to the region, to the region over uh, exceed 400 today. There are several sectors in Latin, um, in Latin America where UAE-based companies successfully established a present. Logistic and infrastructure are a few areas where we are seeing a lot of increased activity. Manufacturing, agribusiness, tourism, renewables, and finance are other key, area, key areas where a new bilateral opportunity is emerging. Governments in Latin America promote investment in production, processing, and exporting of agriculture commodity, and in, which include uh, coca, berries, beef, dairy product, while, in the U, while UAE making a great strides in strengthening its food security. We see a lot of potential for our region to collaborate on renewable energy. Given the UAE strength, uh, giving the UAE strategy target to increase clean energy in its total energy mix from 25% to 50% by 2050. And its major role as an investor in renewable energy project in Latin America and the Caribbean region. Latin America countries are preparing for a steady rise in the number of tourists over the next decades. As one of the world's fastest growing cities, Dubai has the right level of expertise and building an infrastructure to cater to international visitor and world-class event, such as Expo 2020, a mega event descending on Dubai in less than two years time which expected to attract 25 million visitors from around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just some of the promising opportunity we will be exploring together today and tomorrow. We are about to embark on what we will, uh, we will be an exciting and rewarding two days of insightful presentation enlightenment and businesses exchange that will surely build a new bridges between our business community. Thank you very much.